The SJWs of cultural Marxism, while they don't want you filthy conservatives visiting their fancy ski resorts anytime soon. Now last night I read this story in the National Post about how the rebel is being targeted by anonymous online troll bullies who are harassing companies whose ads appear on our website. It's like a modern day don't buy from Jews campaign. These trolls don't want companies to buy ads on our Jewish owned conservative website and they don't want companies exposed to our 742,000 subscribers. The people behind this, honestly, they're, they're not even worth mentioning. They're just today's losers outraged at us and looking to silence us. They're unoriginal. They aren't the first to try to do this. They're not going to be the last. So who really cares who they are? But some businesses actually took the bait. This is what BC's Whistler Blackcomb Ski Resorts PR person said after agreeing to pull their ads from us, after being harangued by these online losers. She said, Digital advertising is not a perfect science, and sometimes things do slip through the cracks. Our goal is to advertise on sites that are complementary to our brand, and rebel media is not. I guess conservatives aren't complementary to the brand of Whistler Blackcomb. Who would be so crazy as to say something like that? To look at 742,000 potential customers and say, yeah, mm, no thanks, you guys are conservatives and that's gross. Well, according to Whistler Blackcomb's website, the PR person responsible for this disastrous explanation is named Sarah Morden. And this little PR hack, let's talk about her for a second. She's a poor little rich girl. She grew up privileged on the ski hill in Whistler and her mom is the mayor of the town. So who does Sarah Morden think is frequenting her ski resort? Social justice warriors whose recreational activities include calling people racist for no reason, embarrassing their poor parents, and lecturing others about words they can't say, or Albertans and BCers in better economic times. Normal Canadians who don't want their ski resort of choice to give a rip about how they vote. Those are the people whose business Sarah Morden and Whistler Blackcomb don't want at the end of the day. Rebel supporters, normal, everyday conservatives. These are my people. And I don't care if this well-kept SJW princess in the PR department of a multinational resort company doesn't like me. I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it. But I don't like the kind of person who's never missed a ski vacation in their lives, treating people who scrimp and sacrifice and save every hard-earned penny just to spend at her resort like complete and total garbage. You folks aren't hateful because you don't like bad liberal or NDP policies. You're normal. When these SJW businesses say the rebel is a problem, it doesn't bother me in the way you think it does. I don't care about the company I work for. I mean, I do care, but that's not what bothers me here. We're crowdfunded. We only exist because our viewers want us to. When these people attack us, they attack every person who ever gave us a dime, signed a petition, left us a comment, shared a story, or clicked a video link. These companies aren't attacking me, they're attacking you. And that's not happening on my watch. So Sarah Morden and Whistler Blackcomb want to boycott the rebel because some online trolls told them to? I say fine, screw them. They want to target us? That's their right to advertise with whatever company they want. That's the free market. Now let's return the favor. Free market style. An eye for an eye, a boycott for a boycott. And little Miss Mom is the mayor? Well, she better get on the horn to Earl's restaurants to find out what happens next when you tangle with highly motivated, yet alienated Canadian conservatives. There's a lot of wrath going to be incurred here. Remember when Earl's restaurants decided Canadian farmers just weren't humane enough for them and started buying beef from a halal certified, humane certified meat processing plant in the United States? Well, we were having none of it and when you go after Canadian farmers, well, you have a problem with me then. So we boycotted Earl's to the point that their franchisees in Alberta were begging for reprieve. And facing layoffs, I delivered a petition with thousands of names to Earl's head office in Vancouver and Earl's ended up apologizing and they magically found a way to source Canadian beef once again. Boycott over, I certainly didn't want to see any layoffs. Chalk up a win for Canadian common sense. The same's going to happen now to Whistler Blackcomb. I don't want to do it, I really don't, but they are asking for it. Go to boycottwhistlerblackcomb.com 
and signed the petition asking them to stop their boycott of the rebel and make the pledge that you, like me, will not patronize Whistler Blackcomb with your hard-earned conservative cash until they stop discriminating against you on the basis of your political beliefs. No normal person wants their ski vacation with a side of social justice moral preening. Just take our money and shut up about our politics. It's just so simple, but it's so hard for these people to understand. What's that thing Sarah Morden told the National Post again? They don't do business with people who are not complimentary to their brand. Yeah, same here, Sarah, same here. Go to boycottwhistlerblackcomb.com and sign the petition today. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. If you don't want your hard-earned ski vacation with a side of left-wing social justice, go to boycottwhistlerblackcomb.com and sign the petition.